One of the most evocative scenes of the English countryside, an oak wood in spring. Not only is it very attractive with all the bluebells in full flower, but it has a kind of primeval feel about it. But I wonder really, how natural is it? I mean, one of the things that surprises me looking around is that all the oaks appear to be of an age. I can't see any dead and decaying trees. There are no giants of the forest lying dead on the ground. And neither can I see any young trees or saplings come to that. And that I think is surprising because if the woodland is a self-regenerating community, I would expect to see the next generation coming up. And indeed, the, this lack of regeneration is one of the things which has been worrying foresters quite a bit recently. And I think it would be interesting to explore that a little bit further. An absence of regeneration, a lack of young trees, suggests that something's going wrong with the life history of the oak itself, the life cycle of the oak itself. So the first thing we want to find out is where that failure is happening. And the first stage in the life cycle is the flowering. And so what I'm doing here is to see if I can find any oak flowers. Now, what I've found first is the remains of this year's male flowers hanging in the catkins. So there's no absence of, of male flowers. There's this year's dead catkins. And so I need to find whether there are any female flowers for the pollen from the male catkins to fertilize. And for that, I need to look at the tips of the shoots amongst the leaves. And yes, lo and behold, there is a nice spike of young oak female flowers, which have been pollinated and already there and set to develop into acorns uh, during the summer. So we've got flowers. Do we have any acorns? Well, the next um, stage is to look for acorns. And of course, at this time of year, we're at the third week in May, there are no young acorns. So I have to look for last year's, last autumn's acorns amongst the leaf litter. Ah, here we are. There are some of last year's acorns. There's an acorn cup. There's a cup with a, uh, an acorn in it. And here's an acorn which won't have germinated because it's been attacked by a fungus which has turned it into this hard black mass. That's a fungus called Cyboria bacchiana. And of course many of the acorns will have been eaten by jays and also by squirrels and, and also off the trees whilst they're still green by wood pigeons. And I expect that small rodents would have accounted for quite a lot as well. On the other hand, an oak tree, a good oak tree, a mature tree, in a good year will produce anything up to 90,000 acorns. So at least some of them should have survived in order to germinate and produce seedlings. Well, here's a, a nice little crop of this year's oak seedlings. And some of them here look extremely healthy. Uh, this one, for instance, has got at least uh, eight leaves on it already, extremely healthy. So there wouldn't appear to be anything the matter with the oak acorn germination. Here, on the other hand, is a seedling which looks much less healthy. In fact, most of the leaves there have been chewed. So something's had a real go at those. And I think if we probably look a little bit further, yes, here's one which no longer looks like an oak seedling at all. It's, it's got no leaves left, whatever. All the leaves of that have been eaten off. So that clearly isn't going to survive. So where have all these caterpillars come from which appear to be defoliating the, these young seedlings? And I think the answer lies above my head because if we look above me, we're right underneath the canopy of this big oak. The canopy of a tree is an extremely hazardous place for a young caterpillar. It can either get knocked off or blown off or washed off. And within about a week's time, I guess it'll be raining caterpillars down here. And they will uh, have a go at, at all of these seedlings. And there will be very few left uh, within a very short time. And looking around, I can't see any young trees or young saplings. So the answer to our problem seems to be here, that the lack of regeneration in this wood is due to young caterpillars damaging the seedlings under the canopies of the trees. 
So an oak seedling is unlikely to survive if it germinates under the shadow of its own parent. To have any chance of survival, an acorn needs to germinate in a clearing. And clearings are formed where an old tree falls. And if we look around the wood here, what is missing, as well as young trees, are old trees. Most of the trees that we see are about 150 years old, probably regrowth following felling at the beginning of the last century. Why were they felled then? Well, the most likely explanation is that the oaks were needed to build the ships that England needed in her fight against Napoleon. So, Napoleon's attempt to conquer Europe at the beginning of the 19th century has had the effect of reducing the regeneration of this oak woodland in Sussex at the end of the 20th century.